Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Dad Lad MRE Reviews again. Uh, tonight we're going to do another Canadian ration, an IMP Sweet and Sour Pork Menu Number 8. Expiration date is November 2016, but everything should be good. The other ones we've had have been fine. So let's break, into, break this thing open and see what we got here. My son's going to do it, and he's going to just tear into the bag, I think. Maybe. Hey. There's something good in there. Alright. Couple things. So let's see what we got in here. <coughs> I'll hold the other one this time. Alright. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so first thing we have is our sweet and sour pork. It's our main. Move that out of the way here. Sweet and sour pork. And then we have sliced pears. Last time we said sliced apples, this time we have sliced pears. MRE spoon. Okay. The sliced pears are probably delicious. Clean wipe. <coughs> Ooh. Nescafe 3 in 1. I haven't seen one of these in a cane ration yet. We'll have to try that and see if it's any good. There's probably cream, sugar, and coffee in here. So yay, and sugar. Uh, yeah, it's instant coffee mix. Probably cream and sugar in here too. Yes. Tear here, so we'll tear there later. Okay, <coughs> we have we have two grape sports drinks. We have one hot chocolate. So we actually will have three drinks with this one. Yay. Buttered rice, probably to go with the sweet and sour pork. Yeah, I'll that. We have our paper towels and our hot beverage bag. We have our peanut butter. We have our strawberry jam. Mini Oreo cookies. Oh. I also have not seen these in a Canadian MRE, so these look like they might be pretty good. We have tortillas. I guess tortillas go better with sweet and sour pork. Our toothpick. Our hot sauce. This is starting to look more and more like a Mexican <coughs> dish. MRE. We have our book of matches. And we have our Werther's Original. With gum. And gum. <laughs> so it almost seems like we get more in this one than we did our last one. Uh, if you remember, our last one was the uh, smoked meat with demi glaze sauce. So let's <coughs> do some of this stuff, make our drinks, get this rice going, and uh, we'll be right back to do that. Okay, so we're back, and we've got our drinks. We've got our coffee, our 3 in 1 coffee, our hot chocolate, our grape sports drink, and we have our buttered rice. All this stuff needs to be mixed together with water while the other stuff is heating up. So, what we're going to do is first let's put the rice to the side. Let's make the, let's make the drinks first. We'll make the grape drink first. Yes. So, you read my mind. There's our cup. Let's get it centered here. <coughs> grape sports drink. That way we don't get anything all over the table, hopefully. Oh, that is definitely purple. There's some water in the bottom of that glass, I guess. Okay. So go ahead and pour that in there. It looks cool on the camera. <laughs> Alright, keep going just a little bit more. There you go. Alright, so let's uh, stir that up. <coughs> I can smell it from here. Mm, it smells so good. And there's your grape sports drink. We'll set that to the side. Now let's do our hot chocolate. Let's 
So there's our cup. It had some hot water in it. <coughs> Here's our hot chocolate. You know, usually when we do these, yep. there's only two food. drinks. Yeah. You and don't usually get hot chocolate. No, you don't. So there's our hot chocolate. And here's our water for our hot chocolate. I'm going to be careful with this here. Besides the Oreos, I think that's going to be the second favorite part. Yeah. Instead of a candy bar this time, we get Oreos, <laughs> which, if you saw those, which is going to be really, really good. Hot chocolate. <laughs> and put that to the side. And then we got to do our coffee. Three in one coffee. Sorry, I don't do everything on camera here. I try to tear some of this stuff off camera. So there's your coffee. I'll let you put your see that here. It looks like, yeah, it looks like you got your creamer, your sugar, and your coffee in there. So let's, uh, Look at that. <laughs> I think that was a perfect amount of you know, water. Yep, for these it was. I can throw up. Coffee with cream and sugar. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do the rice. Let's see if I can tear this better than last time. There we go. That went much better than the mashed potatoes did last time. Ooh, mashed potatoes the, so good. the mashed potatoes, the, the, the bag of the mashed potatoes were bad last time. So. We've got to so pour boiling water in here to the dotted line and then let mix it and let it sit for eight minutes. Oh, they said boiling water and that is hot. Oh, that was warm. That is very warm. I can already smell this rice. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna seal this up. We're gonna get everything ready for a tray and we will be right back. Butter rice. All right, so we're ready to get everything trayed up. We have our grape sports drink, our hot chocolate, and our coffee with cream and sugar. Let's get some of this stuff uh, uh, trayed up. We got our tortillas. We kind of heated them up just a little bit while the other stuff was boiling and cooking. So let's look at these tortillas here and maybe since we heated them up a little bit they will not tear when we unfold them yeah there we go those are pretty good so i think the i don't think this, these are going to be for the sweet and sour pork these are probably for your peanut butter and strawberry jam so instead of bread you have tortillas this time so here's our butter rice and it looks like it's done so we're going to put this over here. Yeah, it's stiff. That's done. Okay. Let's see if we can Ooh, get this stuff over here. Right. There's that rice. Okay. That's not bad. All right, then we have the good stuff, the Oreos. No, that's me. <laughs> He wants them close to him. I don't know if I want to put them close to him because they'll be all gone. Smell 
Okay. I don't know if y'all can see in there or not. Let's see here. So a couple of them are broken apart. They look to be okay. Thank you. I think they'll be good. So we have our sliced pears here, <coughs> and we were debating whether we wanted to cook them like we did the apples or just leave them cold. We decided to leave them cold, and we're going to try them like that. So. And sometimes these packages give me a hard time. There we go. And these got juice in them, so there's your pears. Uh, pears and fruit juice. They don't look like pears at all. To be honest. Those are pears. Alright, and the main course. This is your sweet and sour pork. It's still hot. <clears throat> Hold on. Things started, and this feels like it's got a lot of liquid in it. So, oh yeah, it's got plenty of liquid in it. But it looks like pretty good piece, sized pieces of pork though, and it's hot. It's very hot. So I'm gonna try to do this carefully. Okay. So yeah, it's sweet and sour pork. It's got the sauce. Looks like it's got some vegetables with in there. So. It smells good, and it is steaming hot. This camera is like... Yeah, got all this steam here. Steaming hot. Okay, so let's try some of this here. Uh, let's try some of this. I don't know if I want to try this yet. I don't want to... I don't know if I'm going to burn my mouth or not. So we're going to try some of this pork here. We've got that pork. It's still hot, so I don't want to put my hand underneath this thing. So, here's your pork. Yeah, even with a little... There you go. Even with a little pork full of rice, it's still like a lot of rice. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Let's try some of this on the rice. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it gets big stuff on the rice. Sweet and sour pork, rice. <coughs> Now, <clears throat> I don't know if it's from how long we let this heat up, but the pork is a little bit dry. It might be how long we had it heat up, or it just might need, have to have you have the sauce with it. Yeah, that definitely helps. So let's put this aside, and we've got our tortillas, and we're going to use the peanut butter for these. Let's try the tortillas with some peanut butter. Peanut butter looks pretty good. Might not have gotten mixed all the way, but because it's a little runny, but hey, looks pretty good. So peanut, butter, peanut butter, right? We'll tear this off and have to get a drink after we eat this. <laughs> we have drinks. So. Yeah. Peanut butter, tortilla. Yeah, that's true. Want that drink part too? Looks pretty good. No, the top of the mouth. So, mm, great support strength. Pretty good. There you go. You try some of that? No, it's okay. <laughs> Got your hot chocolate. That's pretty good hot chocolate. And got your coffee with cream and sugar. Your three in one. Let's see if this is then good. That's mine now. <laughs> That's actually better than that caramel nest cafe we had with the last MRE. Or the IMP. Okay, I'm gonna try some of these pears here. Remember we didn't heat these up. They're just pears in sauce. 
There's your pears. They're good. They're regular pears. Tastes good. Tastes not aged at all. This is really good. And then the favorite part of my son, the Oreos. I'm just gonna use my spoon. Okay. Got your Oreos. Let's see if they're any good. They're pretty good. Um, do taste like they got a little age on them, but they're not bad. All right. So again, this was a Canadian IMP menu number eight. Your sweet, uh, sweet and sour pork, butter rice, peaches, Oreos, and tortillas with peanut butter and strawberry jam. You had your hot chocolate that just went that way. You have your coffee with cream and sugar, your three in one, and you have your grape sports drink. So hopefully we'll have something else pretty soon. I'm gonna to try to do these, say, every two or three days, and we'll see what we can do, what we can get in. I'm gonna have a rules order that is original, and as always, be prepared. See ya.